What's up and good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another video. So today at work I got a notification on my phone that a package has been delivered and I've been dying to come home. So I'm finally home from work. Let's go check out these packages that got delivered. Oh man, looks like Christmas. The rag company. And I get them from the rag company and they selected me as a grand ambassador, meaning they sent me a bunch of free stuff. Some stuff's for you guys. I'm pretty sure the top box is for a giveaway. Bottom box is for me to try out new towels and stuff. And if you want to use your towels, you want to go on the website, put the link down below, use discount code GENESIS10 to get 10% off your order. So, let's start unboxing and see what they sent me. This is kind of heavy. All right, so we got the boxes here. Time to open them up, see what they gave me. Most important, let's see what they gave you guys. All right, so let's start with this big box right here. These are, looks like just plain blue towels. I don't know if they call these the car wash towels. Throw those over there. We got lime green towels. These are edgeless. No, they're not edgeless, but similar to those ones, just green. We got orange ones. It's a lot of towels. So those over there as well. The red ones. This is actually really cool. Hey! Loki! Come on, outside. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Loki, come on. Outside. Leave the towels outside. Good boy. Uh -oh. Good boy. All right, so we got a little bit of distractions going on right here. So let's see. Back to the unboxing. Yeah, these black towels. So we got one, two, three, four, five packs of towels. They're like the thin car wash towels. They're really good for interior slash wheels, door jams, etc. I wouldn't use this on paint, so we'll see what we have to do with them. But that box is now empty. Onto this box. So we got a bucket right here. Let's open it up, see what we got inside. All right, so inside this bucket we got PNS Brake Buster. Supposed to be a really good wheel cleaner. They asked us if we wanted to try it. We all said yes. So we got the wheel cleaner. We got PNS Bead Maker. Another sort of spray sealant. This stuff works really well. I've tried it before and I really liked it. So we'll try it again. Make a little review on it. O&R car shampoo. This stuff also works really well because you don't have to rinse your car after using it as a soap. And we got a brick guard. Onto the box we got more towels. These look like Eagle Edgeless towels. These are one of my favorite towels from the Rack Company. Also the microfiber wash mitt. Highly prefer these over any sort of wool or lambskin wash mitt. I don't know if this is the one to give away to you guys. Maybe it is, but we'll see. And we also got the IK sprayer. These things are really nice. You can use these for applying soaps, you can apply wheel cleaners, Iron X, all sorts of different products we use in this thing. Put the products and it makes it super easy to agitate into, making your life a lot easier while detailing. Pull out more paper, let's see what else we got here. I don't know what this is, but we'll see. Not sure what this is. Open it up, check it out. Looks like a shirt. Nice little rag company shirt. It's pretty cool. I like it. And we got, is this a banner? This is sick. This is a banner, I can throw this in the trailer. Not on the side or something. This is sick. The rag company. Bam. And that is all we got out of the boxes. We got boxes of towels, a nice banner, a t-shirt, a nice little bundle of towels and wash mint with some stickers. We got the sprayer and three bottles of product to try out. All right, so all the boxes are empty. We did a little overview of what we got. 
time to make some product reviews to put the rag company out there. I really loved all their products. In all honesty, they have never provided me with a bad product. Every towel I've ever used from them is absolutely amazing. They all have their purpose. Like these ones, I wouldn't use for paint. You can use these for like ceramic coating, removal towels. I would highly prefer these soft, fluffy ones right here. Here, let me open them up and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so we got two microfiber towels in our hand. Both of them are red. I'm gonna go over the different piles and why I would use a high pile versus a low pile and just show you guys what each microfiber is kind of for. So starting with this one, as you can see, it is super fluffy, super high piled, and it's an edgeless towel, meaning there's no seam at the end to there's no seam at the end to harm the paint when wiping across the soft surface. So I would use these strictly for paint, for wax removal, a final buff sort of towel. They work really well to clean up any sort of haze or to refinish the surface as like a final wipe down. So coming off from this one, we can move on to this where you can see it's a low pile. It has the double side, one side's a little bit higher than the other. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Here, let me get a little close up. If you see right here, you can see that it's a very short pile. There's not many much room to work with. Then right here, it's a little bit thicker, a little fluffier, more dense. And it's also not as edgeless, meaning the ends are knitted, where you can see it holds the microfibers together so they don't fall apart on you. But these ones are all laser cut so that they will not tear off. They will not tear apart on you, which is why I like these ones. These ones have very, they're not risky, but I wouldn't prefer them on paint because there is a little risk of damaging or leaving like a fine line going through the clear coat when using these towels because if this edge catches, then that's the only thing that can be resulted. As for these ones, you can wipe in all angles and there's no risk of damaging the paint because there's nothing on the edge of the towel that can, you know, scrape across adding more friction resulting in a scratch across the paint. The purpose for these ones, I would use them for interiors, wheels, or ceramic coating removal because ceramic coating does ruin your towels and I wouldn't want to waste such a nice plush towel on a ceramic coating because a couple days after you do the coating removal, your towel will seem to harden and it's super noticeable because the towel just has no, like, there's no function to it. All the microfibers are clogged by the coating itself and as everyone knows, coatings harden. That's the whole purpose. So when they're on the towel, it hardens onto here rather so it hardens not to hear making the towel completely useless then moving on to this let's see if there's another towel in here that i like so these ones the fluffier ones are called eagle edgeless 500 they're 500 gsm and i don't know if they sent me a 380 gsm or 350 i think this is good right here now this is called a creature edgeless this is also so this towel right here is also an edgeless towel as I was saying, like these ones are more of a high plush. You can definitely use these ones for paint, because like I said, they're not a they're not a knitted finish, they're laser cut, so they're edgeless, which will prevent help prevent scratches. These are great for like detail sprays, final wipe downs as well. I like these ones a lot though. These are the only ones I buy. Then let's go back here. Let's take them all out. Okay, let's talk about this one right here. So this towel is comparable to the Kirkland ones, and the difference between this and the Kirkland is that this is a 70-30 blend rather than 80-20. This one will last longer, it's more absorbent. After a couple washes, it will not deteriorate on you. And if you guys have used the Kirkland towels, you guys will know that after one or two uses of the Kirkland ones, they just don't work anymore, no matter how well you wash them. I like these ones. I have these towels, but they're in blue, so I don't like the yellow ones because everyone thinks they're Kirkland, but really, they're made by the rag company. And you gotta appreciate the quality of the towels. These ones are edgeless, rather than the Kirkland that are knitted, like these ones over here. So those ones are much more preferred over the Kirkland. They last longer, work better, and the quality stays up to par. And what is that towel? Let's see. I think this is their drying towel right here. I wish they labeled them so I can kind of know what they are. Yeah, this is the Twitches, Twistress drying towel. It's a super knitted, super absorbent towel that can dry your entire car. 
I'm pretty sure it was like one swipe or something like that they advertised. If you need any more info, go down to the Rad Company's website, read about it. If you want to purchase anything, make sure you guys use Genesis 10 as a 10% discount code. Okay, so then we got these towels, diamond, what are they, the black diamond window towels? They're like a silk screen knitted towel that does not, it doesn't stick to windows or glass, which is, I, I use these all the time. I have like 15 of them in my trailer, always stocked up on them. So now I got two more to add to the collection. These are the only window towels I use. Sometimes in the heat they don't work really well, but just using a glass cleaner to kind of lubricate the surface. So it slides across the window super easily. Not having a stick and have to drag your hand across the window, leaving more streaks behind. Then we got a super low pile towel. I use these ones for interior already. Mine are green though. These ones are purple. Mine does not have the rag company stamped onto it, which would be pretty cool. But these are great for leather cleaning, interior wipe downs. It doesn't leave dust behind. This is super low pile, so it scrubs out really well because you can put more pressure onto it as far as like these ones where you can't really scrub. These just pick up a lot. Then we got our favorite wash mitt, microfiber wash mitt. Super soft, super durable. Like I've had mine for a little while. And after a few washes, it does not break apart on you. You can't pull these things apart. Mine does not have the hand insert though. Mine is a wash mitt rather than a wash pad. No, this is a wash mitt, my bad. I have the wash pad, meaning it's just a big square rather than this thing that where you can put your hand into it. So that just about covers everything that the rack company provided for me. I really appreciate the support. They gave me a lot of stuff to try out and th couldn't thank them enough. If you guys have any more questions, leave your comments down below. Message me on Instagram at Genesis Detailing. I'll put that down below also. But leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think of these towels. If you want to buy them, like I said, go to the website. And at checkout, use discount code Genesis10 to get 10% off your order. Their towels are like the highest of quality I've ever seen. Even like their cheaper one. They call these the car wash towels, the longer ones. They're super cheap, super absorbent. I mean, they, they just, they're amazing. Just give them a try and let me know what you guys think. Like I said, Genesis 10. Bye. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give me a nice thumbs up, press subscribe, share this video with your friends, and spread the word about the Genesis Detailing channel. I'm here to help you guys on how to detail your own cars, so leave your feedback down below. Help support the channel. Let me know what you guys want to see, whether it's a vlog style, how-tos. I'm working on more videos for you guys. It's hard to record, like I said. You know, it's not easy to pick up a camera and record as I'm detailing, because the process becomes a lot longer. But I'm still working on it, and I'm hoping to have Sky be able to record more as we're detailing. But anyways, just for now, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.